the dream catcher is essentially from a, a tribe called a jigwi tribe that it catches unnecessary things and there is a feather which is supposed to allow only good things for the child. But if adults want something like this, we uh, have made a yantra for, uh, you know, dreams to accelerate. Sadhguru, uh, this is Abhirami here. Uh, yeah, and uh, about the trip that you're doing around the Native American uh, thing, the Native American culture that you're actually exploring around, it's wonderful. And there are a lot of things that we also follow from their uh, side, right? Like we Indians also follow the Native American culture of having a dream catcher. Uh, as a decoration or thing or uh, to you know for good luck charm um, but how how can a dream catcher actually you know uh, uh, make us get rid away of the nightmares or whatever like how how does it work you know uh, does it have to be done in certain way or can someone make it namaskaram uh, abirami I'm here at uh, Salt Lake City, just arrived, and uh, about your question. The dream catcher is essentially from uh, a tribe called a Jigwi tribe. It is used uh, over the cradles. It is a kind of a imitation of a spider's web, that it catches unnecessary things and there is a feather which is supposed to allow only good things for the child and filter out all the bad things. It's more like a lucky charm, but uh, uh, I think in the past it was made with horse's hair and those kind of uh, things uh, like uh, animal hair and stuff. So it could have uh, worked to, in some sense, to uh, prevent certain types of movement of energies and things like that. I, we are not very clear about whether it was really made with this, but today it's all made with cotton thread and sold in the shops. So we do not know what's the impact, it's more become a decorative. So definitely not for adults, it's for little children. Uh, and it was colorful with beads and everything. As you know, uh, an infant when it's in a cradle, we must hang something colorful to keep his senses busy and engaged and uh, definitely till the last moment he or she falls asleep, they will be engaged with that. A feather waving, colorful beads and this whole thing could have kept the child busy, uh, child senses busy, leaving the mothers uh, to their work rather than all this time uh, <laughs> bawling away. So, and they would also naturally sleep well. Uh, so that's what a dream catcher is, it's not necessarily about dreams, it is just that it gets the infant's focus. It's for infants, not for adults. Uh, but if adults want something like this, we uh, have made a yantra for, uh, you know, dreams to accelerate. This is a way of accelerating karmic process when people are in certain type of sadhana. We put this, this is a large yantra, it's like four by four made of copper, it's a heavy thing. And uh, if you are in the vicinity of that, you will have <laughs> dreams fast forward. What you would have in fifteen, twenty years, you will have it within two weeks. Really fast forward, fast forward, that you will think that you are being uh, really battered with nightmares and things because everything goes rapidly through your mind. Well, uh, Swapna Yantra like this can be made for individual people. At one time we thought we will make it, but then, uh, you know, even if it is true, even if it something works, it is important that people don't end up becoming, uh, uh, what to say, superstitious 
So when I saw people started imagining things and uh, people started uh, seeing those things during the daytime, this heavy dreaming, not everybody was ready. This was done during a program when uh, ninety days people were with me and to hasten their sadhana, we did this yantra later on when we experimented with a few other people. Not everybody could handle that pace of dreaming process happening within themselves. So, we did not make smaller ones to be used at, in homes. But someday if people are more ready, we could make a Swapna yantra which will uh, greatly fast forward the dreaming process so that in your dream states or in your sleep states, you can work out your karmic process and reduce the burden during your wakeful states and you can wake up really cleaned up. After a few weeks of being with the yantra, you can come out totally cleaned up of all your dreams, good, bad, ugly, all kinds. Because I don't differentiate between good dreams and bad dreams. All dreams are bad <laughs> because uh, you're not conscious or you're not good sleeper either. So both for me is not good. When you're awake, you must be fully conscious and aware. When you're asleep, uh, you must be dead asleep. That's the best way to be. So don't try to catch anybody's dreams. It is important that our accumulated karmic stuff should be worked out as quickly as possible. For this, there is a Swapna Yantra. When people are ready, we could do that. But dream catcher from the Native American culture is essentially for infants to keep them engaged, uh, beads, feather, all those things put together. And uh, it worked for infants. Adults shouldn't be gazing at anything like that because anyway your phone will be between you and the dream catcher. <laughs> Namaskaram, Avirami, all the best for you.